the general illumination system has different light strips, which are located in the ceiling panels above the aisles and windows. Every light strip consists of a row of fluorescent tubes, which are integrated in ballast units. The illumination in the different areas is controlled by the cabin illumination function. The system illuminates the entry areas and cabin zones. The system has some automatic behaviors that are pre-defined, whatever the customized light configuration, and occur in the following situations. Situation 1. Signal lost. In an event of CIDS is deactivated, or the control signal from the ballast unit is lost, the CIDS will control the light with full brightness after 3 minutes without a signal. Situation 2. CIDS activation. This situation occurs in the first shift of the day. The plane was off and when is powered, the CIDS activates, and all the light illuminate with full brightness, except for lavatories that stay dimmed. Situation 3. Avoid glaring in the cockpit. When at least one of the engines is running, and the cockpit door is open, the light intensity in the forward entrance area will be dimmed to avoid glaring the pilots in the cockpit. Situation 4. Cabin decompression. In case of low cabin pressure, all cabin lights are switched on, with full brightness, independent from any selected light intensity setting. The adjustment of the light intensity in the passenger area can be controlled with the cabin lighting page of the FAP and from the additional attendant panel. In the FAP, the lighting cabin page shows a cabin with each section illuminated according to the selection. Each airline selects the cabin layout according to its configuration. In this case, the cabin has two zones, business and economic class, and two entry sections. Each section can be controlled through the buttons in the FAP. It has three buttons to set the intensity of the lights. Bright for 100%, dim 1 for 50%, and dim 2 for 10%. Also, the lights can be switched off by pressing the active push button a second time. Furthermore, it has five buttons more at the top of the page. The main on-off button controls all the cabin lights. When is pressed, set all the lights to off or bright. Next to this button, there are two buttons to control windows lights and aisle lights. Keep in mind there is no additional indication for these lights. At right, there are two buttons used mainly for maintenance purposes. The first one, reading light set turns on all the reading lights in the passenger unit service. The second one, reading lights reset, turns off all the reading lights. The AAP controls the illumination of its entry area and of the cabin zone. The push buttons are arranged in two columns for cabin zone and entry area illumination. The LED on the push button illuminates when the push button is pushed and activated. To switch off the cabin zone lights, push the active button a second time.